students i am back with my new lesson from your prose part from english textbook unit 1.1 an astrologer's day by r k narayan now students we will first learn about R K Narayan who was R K Narayan R K Narayan was one of the best novelist he was best known for lots of novels among indian english writers he is the author of 14 novels five volumes of short stories and a number of travel logs and has a collection of non fiction to his credit his stories are more about human relationship it shows that that compassionate humanism in his stories and we also see the humor and energy of ordinary life in his novels His stories are characterized by simple style and subtle humor. His novel The Guide won Sahitya Academy Award, the most coveted prestigious award in English literary. And his most famous is Malgudi Days. Swami and Friends These novel these stories became immensely popular in that era so So now students in this chapter an astrologer's day what we are going to study now student you can see on the white board i have written the theme of this story an astrologer day by rk narayan as i told you that rk narayan he emphasizes more on human relationship and he is more about the relation consequences so now in this chapter we are going to learn about an astrologer's day about one man who became an astrologer he is originally not an astrologer but for that day he became an astrologer and what he did and what he faced on that day that is why the chapter name is an astrologer's day so in this one day the entire story has taken place so what is the theme of the story student the theme of is irony of fate irony of fate it depends on your luck and your deeds student about your destiny it is now nowadays people they say that if you do good deeds it will come back to you in a better way but if you do bad it will come back to you in a bad way so here also in this chapter we are going to study about irony of fate all about destiny all about luck all about good deeds and bad deeds the uh, the chapter has also theme religion and blind faith now obviously students an astrologer day so of course 
the lesson depicts about astrology where there are people who are completely dependent on astrologers to know about their fate about their destiny and what is going to happen to them in this life and the life which will come after death so it is all about religion blind faith and all crime and punishment now why this word crime and punishment came in this chapter now student the person in this chapter who became an astrologer he is not an astrologer originally he is an absconded man absconded means he ran away from his village without telling anybody and came to another village sat under the tree and he removed all the materials that are used for astrology just to enchant you know just to attract whom customers and to mint money now what is this crime and punishment here as i told you he was not an astrologer originally he became astrologer because he left his village because he had committed crime and to avoid punishment he left his village and came to another village and disguised changed his identity as an astrologer and started cheating whom people of that village karma of course i told you karma is all about tit for tat i told you there are golden rules there are silver rules there are iron rules student if you do good to everybody the good thing will come to you that is why it is always said that you must make every everybody's day you should help you should extend your hand to help everybody then there is a fifth that is sense of guilt of course the person who commits crime of course they feel guilty of their action abscond i told you that the man who became an astrologer in the story he absconded he ran away from his village without telling anybody and became an astrologer in one of the villages and started cheating and fooling people of that village so now students you understood what is the lesson about an astrologer day by rk narayan i really like one thing about rk narayan students that the theme which he put in his story it really makes us read it and we really visualize those events in our imagination you know in our mind we started imagining what's going on in the story you really get engrossed when you read the story of rk narayan the his story is very simple right but here he talks about the action and the consequences of the action so now what action had taken place in the story it's a crime and a what crime this astrologer did will come to know when we'll understand the lesson so this is what he's talking about the his story is more about what action and the consequences of action if it's a good action good consequences bad action bad consequences so now students we will now read and understand the chapter an astrologer day by rk narayan and let us see how this absconded man who became an astrologer and how he tug people of that village so now please all of you i request to keep textbook open and follow me with the line in the paragraph hold pencil in your hand and please jot it down all the important meanings of the word okay now come on page number 2 let us see what the fraud astrologer did that day in that village punctually at midday 
He opened his bag and spread out his professional equipment. Punctually means regularly. He every day he comes at midday means 12 noon exactly punctually regularly he comes and he keeps his bag on that place and start removing all his equipment that is required for uh, it is required to attract customers and what was there in his bag which consisted consisted of dozen cowrie shells the cowrie shells you know shells mostly you will find near beach the cowrie shell it's a it's a called a sea animal a square piece of cloth you have seen most of the astrologer they have square piece of cloth and you can see the rows and columns over there and you can see how that piece of cloth consists of obscure obscure mystic means it's very difficult if you see that piece of cloth and what if you see the content written on that piece of cloth it is very difficult to understand of course a normal person will not understand the meaning what is written in that piece of cloth that is what is written obscure mystic obscure means difficult mystic means related to supernatural related to god and his messages and all so it is very difficult to understand that part mystic chart on it a notebook and a bundle of palmyra writing palmyra writing means a kind of a palm it shows on the palm whatever it's written his forehead was resplendent with sacred ash and vermilion you have seen the image of an astrologer how they wear orange dress right they their forehead is resplendent means it's very impressive you can see they apply the sacred ash over it you can see the three lines over here vermilion the red bright color sparkled with a sharp abnormal gleam which was really an outcome of a continual searching for the searching look for customers means he is wearing that orange dress sitting under the tree the sacred ash applied on forehead there is a red vermilion applied on the forehead and his eyes is gleaming and looking for customers he took the get up of a real astrologer and sat under the tree and he was looking for the customer so that they can come and ask about their future the power of his eyes was considerably enhanced by their position placed as they were between the painted forehead and the dark whiskers which streamed down his cheeks means the power of his eyes means his eyes has that attractiveness in it that it really attracted the customer enhanced means kind of increased it improved you can see the way he was looking it showed that that the astrologer is really worthy meeting and asking about future as they, uh, uh, by their position placed as they were between the painted forehead and the dark whisker dark so whisker the dark beard they have you know astrologer he has completely disguised means change his identity and look alike astrologer so that people should not feel that he is not a real astrologer even a half wit's eyes would sparkle in such a setting means the way his eyes were so wit with you know eyes looking at the customer and the way he is making his faces his expression in such a way you know it appeared to be very stupid but as you know that the people when they look at astrologer they themselves feel like to go to them and ask about their future 
to crown the effect he won the saffron color turban around his forehead as he wore the dress of orange same with the saffron the orange color turban pagdi he applied on his forehead his color scheme never failed I means the color the get up in the get up he which he took never failed people were attracted to him as bees are attracted to cosmos or dhelia stalks as you have seen the means the way he sat the way he used to sit under the tree the way he used to take the get up the cloth the vermilion the sacred ash the orange turban pagdi the way he used to sit and the people used to come they get attracted how you can see the bees how they go into the cosmos just to suck what the sweet things from the flowers the same way the customers used to rush to him for their future prediction dhalia uh, dhalia stalks is a kind of a what uh, it's a kind of a crop it is a flower he sat under the bark of a spreading tamarind tree which flanked the path running through the town hall park now he now, now they are describing the place the bough means as a main branch of tree flanked means edge Pro properly he sat at the edge means he sat in that lane so that he can clearly be seen by people at the town hall park means if the people moving from their town hall park so the, the way he is sitting at the edge at that lane so that people can view him clearly so that the customer can come to him fast it was a remarkable place in many ways of course the place was very attractive of course he chose the right place to sit a surging surging means increasing crowd was always moving up down this narrow road from morning till night now rk narayan has used the path the road in such a way that he showed that the path which astrologer the fraudulent astrologer had taken place is a busy road where the people always there in that path from morning till night so it is easy for him to get customer over there a variety of trades and occupations was represented all along its way now in this story the rk narayan has beautifully presented us about what was there surrounded of course he told us rk narayan told us where the astrologer sat but he has also said that the surrounding of that place that not only that astrologer but there were other things were also sold around there it was a busy road where, where people used to come to buy something over there like medicine sellers sellers of stolen uh hardware you know some people they just uh, uh what they they steal mobile like a kind of a chor bazaar kehte hain like kind of they just buy they just rob somebody's mobile and they sell it at another place seller of stolen hardware and junk magicians and above all an auctioneer of cheap clothes you know buying clothes from somewhere and keeping on the footpath and selling the cheap clothes who created enough din all day to attract the whole town means the town is so much you know having people other trades that there you will always see crowd the people over there the crowd over there and everybody's business work very good over there next to him in uh, next to him in vociferousness vociferous means a very loud very noisy came a vendor of fried groundnut saying wala you have seen the saying wala he has his 
vendor, a vehicle he walked, you can see the frying pan over there, like frying pan or like kadhai kind of there and you can see the way he does what, how he uh, put the ground nut inside the raw one and how he makes it hot and it is very tasty to eat. So he saw that the person, the vendor, he was selling a fried ground nut who gave his wear a fancy name each day. Means the way he was making groundnut every day and every day he used to name his fried groundnut. One day he used to call it Bombay ice cream. One day, uh, next day he'll call it Delhi almond. And on the th third, Raja's delicacy. Means every day, whatever he used to fry on that pan, that fried groundnut, he used to give it a different, different name. The first day, uh, he called it as announced as Bombay ice cream. Second day, a Delhi almond. And third, Raja's delicacy. And so on. And so forth. And people flocked to him. Of course, the way he was loud and he was so noisy. And the way he was selling that fried groundnut, the people heard him and he, they rushed to him to buy his fried ground nut. Now here R.K. Narayan tells us the places about that place apart from astrologer's place where he is sitting under the tree the R.K. Narayan is also describing about that place not only astrologer but there are other trades also which are working successfully in that town. That is what it shows that the astrologer has taken the right place for his astrology. A considerable portion of this crowd delayed before the astrologer too, as I told you. Of course, when the, the crowd is going to the, uh, the vendor, the groundnut seller, the people who are going to buy cheap clothes, the people who are buy to, uh, uh, they go and buy some cheap clothes and stolen hardware. So of course, there are so much crowd in that lane. So it is very obvious that some people will also go to the astrologer to know about their future, about their children's future, about their future prediction. The in astrologer transacted his business by the light of a flare which crackled and smoked up above the groundnut heap nearby. Now here, of course, during the night time, evening time, when sun set, the astrologer, he did not have what light with him. So, of course, you know how the uh, groundnut seller, the vendor, how he used to keep that pan on that, you know, coal, gas, and the flame is so much that it gives light to where? To the places around and astrologer could be seen to the customer through that flame. Which crackled and smoke up about the groundnut heap nearby. Half the enchantment of the place was due to the fact that it did not have the benefit of municipal lightning. Of course, that the place, however, the so much trade were there, astrologer was there, but still the municipal light, the BMC light, the street light was not working. So he, his job, his business worked just because of whom, especially in the evening, because of whom, because of the vendor who was selling groundnut, the flame, the coal flame gave light to astrologer's place. One or two had hissing gaslight. Some had naked flares stuck on the uh, poles. Of course, now, astrologer did not have light, but others, they have a gas one, gas lights. You know, you know how they have, when there is no light in the house, they, they have that lamp kind of thing so that they can use at the night time. Some had naked flares. You know, naked flares mean they do not have uh, something to, you know, use. Uh, they don't have emergency light or something. So what they do, they just collect some wood and they put fire so that they can have light over there and they can sell their things. Some were lit up by the old cycle lamp, one or two. Like the astrologer managed without lights of their own. It was a bewildering, bewildering means confusing and baffling, confused, crisscross of the light rays 
and moving shadows of course astrologer did not have light so whatever light used to get uh, get from the other trade people whatever they used to apply some gas light as i told you about the coal of the vendor of groundnut and that people who are using the naked flare whatever light crisscross light he was getting somehow the astrologer was seen in that town uh, moving shadows this suited the astrologer very well for the simple reason that he had not in the least intended to be an astrologer when he began life of course as i told you that he did not want to be an astrologer of course he was not the, uh, not the real one he just destiny just situation the circumstances forced him to become astrologer and leave his village and come to this village and do this kind of business fooling people and he knew no more of what was going to happen to other men, others then he knew what was going to happen to himself next minute means he was an astrologer he was not at all bothered and he was not knowing that what is whatever he is going to tell the customer what is going to happen to them that was not he was not knowing that it will really happen but he was knowing what will going to happen to him however the customer came he told them about the future but he does not know however that thing will happen to that customer but what will happen to him next minute he knew it very well he was as much as a stranger to the stars as were his innocent customers of course he was as he was not the real astrologer so he did not know much about the star he was like like however uh, you know that the astrologers they know more about stars and constellations but he used to tug innocent customers innocent strangers yet he said things which pleased and astonished everyone that was more a matter of study practice and shrewd guess guesswork of course when i file go to the astrologer and astrologer will see my palm and it will say aapka ye hone wala hai aapke sath aisa hoga aapko bahut paisa milega so kya jab i will be very happy i will become very happy that the astrologer said something and now as i told you that this man he is a fraud but the way he used to see the condition of the customer and he used to know the little background of that customer and he used to just predict like this is going to happen in your life tumhara life mein aisa hoga ab kuch tum aisa karoge to waisa hoga this is what he used to tell people and sometimes that used to work and most of the time i must say all the same it was as much an honest man's labor as any other and he deserved the wages he carried home at the end of the day of course the way he used to like, every day he used to uh, you know counsel people about their future prediction and all through an astrology of course the how much hard work he used to do of course the rk narayan is stating here that he deserved whatever penny he gets at the end of the day to take it home